Let's understand synchronous and asynchronous JavaScript in simple way. Many beginners get confused a lot between these two. But after completing this video, you will understand the difference. Hello, welcome back to this channel. If you are new here, my name is Meet. I am a software engineer and on this channel, I explain web development in simple and easy way. So what is synchronous? Synchronous programming means our code runs line by line. Each line must be completed before moving to the next one. In simple words, synchronous programming is like following a recipe step by step. Each step must be completed before moving to the next one. If one step takes a long time, we have to wait until it's finished the execution and then we can continue. For example, we are preparing a cake for birthday. Now there are step by step process for that. Let's say First we mix ingredients, then we put it in oven for baking. And finally, we can decorate the cake. We have to follow these steps line by line. We can't directly start decorating the cake without baking. We have to go to in steps 1, 2 and 3. So that's the synchronous example. Now you might guess what is asynchronous. In asynchronous, also our code runs line by line, but for moving forward, we don't need to wait to finish that task. We can start a task and if it takes more time, then we can move to the next line. In simple words, asynchronous programming is like doing multiple things at once and not waiting for each line to finish before starting the next line. You can start a task and while you will wait for it to complete, you can do something else. For example, you are preparing a cake and also you are watching this tutorial. So you put the cake in oven for baking, but this baking can take 10 to 15 minutes time. So at that time, you can do other things without just waiting for cake to bake. So you start watching this tutorial and if you like this tutorial, then you can share this with your friends. So you can do multiple things in asynchronous programming without just waiting for one line to finish this task. So this is the fundamental difference between synchronous and asynchronous JavaScript. Let's see this with JavaScript example. So here is the four console line and these lines are executed in the sequence which means line by line. Now here you don't see the blocking way of asynchronous JavaScript because any line of code is not taking more time to execute. So to display blocking way, I do something like this. I create a function at the top called bake the cake and inside this function I simply move this line to. Now to add blocking I add here one empty for loop which can take some time to execute. So let i equals to 0 i less than 1 with 9 zeros and i plus plus and simply we don't want to do anything inside this for loop. So I simply add open and close curly brackets. And here, after the line 1, we call this bake the cake function. Let's run this code. See, here after line 1, our code is waiting for this function to execute. And when it's done, then we get line 2 and then line 3 and line 4. So this is the synchronous code. Ideally, when this function taking time, our rest of the code should continue to execute. So here, at the place of this for loop, which is keeping our code busy, we can add another method for adding delay. So we add set timeout. This method takes two arguments. First one is the function and second one is the delay time. For example, we pass here 10,000 milliseconds, which is 10 seconds. Now at the first place, we simply pass function and inside it, we move this line to console. So after 10 seconds, this function will console line 2. Now can you guess the output for this code? Let's see. See, first we get line 1. After that, in the background, our function is running. But that didn't stop our code there. Our code continued to run line 3, line 4. And when those 10 seconds will end, we get line 2 in the console. So this is the non-blocking or asynchronous code. Synchronous code wait for line 1 to complete execution and asynchronous code 
wait for that line in the background and continue to work forward. By default, our JavaScript code is synchronous, but JavaScript provides some methods by which we can make our code asynchronous for doing specific types of work. First one is by using callback functions and another method is by using promises. And we will see these topics one by one in the next video. And also, currently I am working on the ultimate Node.js course in which you will learn Node.js from scratch to advanced level in very easy to explain language and with the real world projects. So in the description box, I added one Google form link. Enter your email and first thousand students will get this course completely free for the lifetime. So quickly register, link is down in the description box and I will see you in the next video.